Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be baking some cupcakes. So I'm gonna use this um, baking mix. So this is from Betty Crocker. This is super moist triple chocolate fudge cake mix. So I'm gonna be using this cake mix and I have regular cupcakes like these sizes. So I have six in here and then I'm gonna try my kids are picky and they don't really eat chocolate, but I'm gonna see if I make them small, will they like them? So I'm gonna make um, Wilton. So this is more for like, um, how, not Halloween, more for, um, this is more for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna use those eyeballs and then I'll have to get me some more eyeballs and see maybe that'll attract them to wanna eat the cupcake more. Okay, so this is what we're, these are the pans. Okay, so this is how it looks. So it come like this. Like I said, this is for turkey for Thanksgiving. So that's what this pack is for. I use some eyeballs for other stuff, and that's why we don't have that many. But I want to get like the smaller eyeballs, so I have to go pick that up. And then these are the mini cups, baking cups. So I'm gonna pick this one with the green and white, and then we're gonna put them on here. And these are the jumbo size um, cupcakes. What we're gonna do, this is by Betty Crocker. So those are the only ingredients you need, water, oil, and eggs, and I have all of it. So we're gonna mix it in here. I'm gonna use some mini M&Ms. My son doesn't, I'm gonna not frost this side and frost this side maybe. So we'll see, because they don't care for frosting either. So hopefully this will make them want to eat some, because it has sprinkles in it. So I'll leave these plain. And leave those with sprinkles. For, it just depends on what size you're using. So I'm going to put this as cupcakes, so like 20 minutes, but I'll check it. So this is how it looks. So let's go put it in the oven. And then with these, I'm gonna add some M&Ms. Cause I don't need to frost them more. So I'm gonna add some here. even so I'm gonna throw this in the oven also okay so let's go throw these this is how it looks so I was a little disappointed seeing how the cupcakes came out the oven because you can't really see the M&M's I'll just see it up close 
So next time I'll just put the M&Ms on the frosting like I end up doing anyway, but next time I won't bake with the M&Ms inside. I guess because the cupcakes are chocolate, you can't really see them. Okay, so the cupcakes are out the oven now. So we are going to attempt to frost them. I have this one already um, pre-packaged. It says rich and creamy chocolate. I already took it out of the wrapper. Uh, pipe it. I'm going to use this tip, which is $1.99. Hopefully it comes out good. Oh, it's nice and okay so i'm gonna frost these and then i have some m ms i want to put on it i have some orange sprinkles i want to try and i want to do the eyeballs so let's see if we can frost it okay you. you can help me with the other one let me see if i can do help myself Okay, so let's see how this comes out. Here we go. So my daughter ended up helping me frost the mini cupcakes, which my son and her loved. So I will we'll try to see if I film another one of the mini cupcakes since they both actually like the frosting and the cupcakes. My first time doing a cupcake. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm gonna need more frosting. So go back and add some more. Really care for frosting, so those are I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show them because there's nothing exciting to do with them. But they came out like this, tiny. So that'll be for them. Okay, so I'm gonna do a taste test. So I took this one, the one with the one little eyeball. So let's see. Mmm. Very chocolatey. Okay. <laughs> ah. Look how the inside looks. Hmm. So I'll definitely buy this again from Aldi's. The um, cake mix and the frosting. Frosting was super easy to work with because I'm always having issues frosting and like, um, what do you call it? Oh, piping to pipe frosting on cupcakes and cakes. I'm always having issues with that. And this frosting was actually really easy to work with. So I'll definitely be buying them again and try another Halloween, another Halloween theme cupcake or cake or cake pop is what I really want to try next. And with the, with the way the, um, cake came out so easy i think i can actually make cake pop i'm gonna buy it again so stay tuned for the next couple of videos i will be doing some more halloween baking so thumbs up and my daughter loves it too so thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys